Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Pat McGauley. I'm with the 355th MCAS out of Shreveport, Louisiana. My role is a 62 Alpha, which is a emergency physician. I coordinate the medical care given in our non-ambulatory tent for the most severely injured patients. It's been a very, very good uh, learning experience, the uh, gelling of the team, so to speak. You can train all you want to in individual classrooms and small s scenarios, but this brings it all together with the chemical unit, the other different support units that you never get to see unless you're in a large scale um, operation like this. Well, we've been together a while. Um, we've been together in uh, West Virginia. We went to Florida to another exercise. We've had almost a year now to get our systems, our processes, our SOPs in line with one another. Their unit, for whatever reason, we particular. There's a word in Louisiana we say "jihaw," which means we integrate well and and flow. And what may look like chaos to a lot of people is a well choreographed situation for us. It's not, uh, I know what my chemical cohorts are gonna do, they know what we're gonna do. I know when they set uh, their plastic, I know we set our tents. And we, we just get along really well. The, the troops know each other now. We've bunked together, we've eaten together, we've broken bread together. And that gels a un two units together like nothing else when you have to live with them as well as perform with them. So um, it, it makes a big difference when you see them and they're not strangers and you don't know what they're going to do. At this juncture, we have them down, they have us down, and if they need something, we're there to help. If, if we need something, they're here to help. We just work really, really well. Our commanders work together very well. Um, just a very, uh, we're very fortunate to have each other as co-units that work well together. Well, part of this, as since it is an exercise, is a teaching exercise. And what we do in academics, where I live in the real world, we do here. In other words, see one, teach one, do one. And so what we're doing with the medics <clears throat> with the more junior ones is getting them to see one, to do one, and then they're teaching. I teach first, then they teach, and then they teach the new ones, and vice versa. And it's a cycle that goes on and on and on. So it's not just me, <clears throat> excuse me, it's all of us doing the same thing. We've got some very experienced people, we have some new people, but the new people have been very open to learning, the, the, the people who are more experienced are very open to teaching and it's a, flu, it's a very uh, um, satisfying environment. As a teacher and as a leader, it's a satisfying environment when everybody's working together for a single purpose, but also to better your craft, to learn, hey, there may be a better way. And you've got input from so many different angles that you know, I learn and, and I enjoy learning and I learn stuff from my medics all the time because they bring it from where they come from, whether it's uh, uh, in their private EMS services or whatever, we all bring it together. Um, we're with non-ambulatory, the, the, the patients who are, are injured very badly, life-threatening life injuries, semi-life-threatening injuries, limb-threatening injuries. We stabilize, treat them as best we can within the limited time and role we have because you have to remember if we take too much time, we'll lose people upstream. So we have to be able to do the right thing as quickly as possible, as thoroughly as possible so that we still have capacity to treat all those people that are coming. We can't, no, we can't say no and stop the line. There's, there's no stopping. So you have to learn, and that's one of the big advantages to coming together like this, is learning that pace. How to set the pace 
that you can see all the patients that need to be seen and yet do a thorough enough job that they have the best chance at life going forward. And that's a very, very, very hard, you can't teach that unless you do it. And that's what we're here to do.